Hello, 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 and welcome to this. What is flight number 26 of my FSX FS Economy career mode? Still parked up in Tom 2 to on stand 5, general aviation. Don't forget to go and check out my previous flight. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification for any further content. And give me a thumbs up, it helps my little channel out a great deal. So we'll follow on from where we finished. In this journey, I'm going to be going to a place called Uwanaham, New Caledonia. Uh, it's a small island just to the northeast of where we are. There's only a few jobs. What a worth taking i'm in a little cessna 172 four seats and what i'm going to be doing is i'm taking this tourist this sailmaker a case of rum so we're going to add those assignments to my flight i've already rented my aircraft my aircraft i own it all i have to pay for is drone fees and fuel so we'll go to my flight as you can see the status on it is departing i'm going to get a grand total of two thousand five hundred and five dollars for this flight uh, i've got 25 gallons of fuel in i don't need any fuel i've already sorted my route out it's a direct flight what we'll do next is we'll go and check the weather conditions because it's at this moment in time it's 20 past 8 and in Tom Tutor the local time will be 6.19 I think in AM so well, the sun will just be coming up so what we'll do is we'll go and have a look at the weather conditions over in Tom Tutor uh, we'll have a look at the weather conditions in Ohanuham and that will determine which runways we're going to take off from and which runways we're going to land on. I've had a look and I think I'm taking off at runway 11, landing on runway 12. You can never tell. FSX is uh, such a funny simulation. So we'll go and have a look in Active Sky and we'll check out the weather conditions. Well, this is Active Sky. As you can see, I'm on the page for Tom Tutor, the weather conditions. Temperature outside is currently 22 degrees Celsius. Surface winds are 3 knots at 140 degrees, which if truth be told, I should be taking off on runway 11. There's uh, no clouds, below 20,000 feet, and the air pressure outside is 1,012 millibars. Well, these weather conditions were taken at 8 o'clock UK time. As you can see by the moon in the centre, still uh, night time. Still, still dark, but what we'll do is we're going to have a look at the weather conditions in Ohanuham. I think that's how you say it. Well, quite a change in contrast. Uh, there's light rain over there. Temperature is 26 degrees. Winds are 6 knots at 121. So there's the light winds. Nothing to be concerned about. Pressure's 1,011 millibars. Clouds are broken at 6,900 feet, but we're under that because we're only flying at 5,000 feet. So we'll go and check out our route. There's nothing great to be said about the route because it's a direct flight. But I am going to try and use SIDs and STARS, even though it's a Cessna 172 and it's a default aircraft. But I will try and fly that route. So we'll go and check in a little nav map. As I said, there's nothing great that's going to happen. I'll show you the departure procedure and the arrival procedure. So this is my little nav map. You can see where the yellow aircraft is on screen. That is where my aircraft is parked. What I'll be doing is I'll be in up the runway, turning around, going back on runway 11. The orange line that you can see, I'll try and follow that to get to our first waypoint, which is LTO, is an NDB. So in direct for 94 miles in a northeasterly direction, we'll let a waypoint of FN12. We've got to be above 14,000 feet. We will then take a right turn to 124 degrees south easterly, where we will land on runway 12. So, like I said, there's no, no great plan to this. Follow the route, get to Ohan Newham, where we'll probably park up in possibly Bay 1 or 3, general aviation parking. Oh, so we'll get into FSX and we'll start on our way and get these to their destination. Right, here we are in the cockpit. Tune the ground, I've done all my checks, set the altimeter, set the vertical climb. Tune ground, we'll request the taxi to, to depart east. No, we're not departing east. Departing to the south. We're going to the Now is that taxi clearance? Put a bit of power in, be able to get a turn. Yeah, without crashing into any buildings. OK, 
car way up the runway. And what I'm doing in this series is if you look through the previous videos see that I've started with a few thousand dollars um, done some flights in the Cessna 172 and the Cessna 208 I earned enough money then purchase my own Cessna which is this what I'm flying in cost me around hundred and seventy thousand dollars and what I'm trying to do with this is trying to get it back to my home base in Manchester which is going to be a mega worldwide tour well it's not going to be a mega worldwide tour it's going to be traveling through China Japan Russia, Holland, Germany, Holland, back into England. But with the capabilities of the Cessna and the flying range, maximum flights, what I'll be able to do is around 200 nautical miles. So I've got a plan of route. fit within the capabilities of this aircraft stutter there but it's going to be a lot of short flights a lot of short hops island hopping till we get over mainland China I'm going to be taking a lot of small airports in but I'm also going to be landing at some main airports which I know is not factually correct as a lot of general aviation aircraft won't land at major airports but this journey is going to take us into a lot of uh, uncharted territory for me I have some routes what I want to take got quite a few but sometimes that with FS economy you can't always take that direct route what I want to take I've got to take other little jobs because I've still got to make money to maintain this aircraft uh, still got to make money for fuel just at a hundred hour check oh, I'm good to fly this plane for another hundred hours with paying passengers slow down now I just notch your flaps in just turn into this turning point here turn it around And 
then we'll request take off clearance Center line. I'll set my bearing. I request take off clearance. Given clearance for takeoff, set it to full power. Just move my joystick back a little bit. Sixty knots. Rotate. Our flaps up. Positive climb. I'll start making my right hand turn. Now according to this first waypoint where we're at, we should be at 3,500 feet. Now we're never going to make it to 500. Start making a turn to right. Come back on course. Press fly forward. Let us turn right again. Sorry about that. That noise the squawk cord. Busy checking. Radar contact three miles west of Antutan, two 
Calibrate the altimeter, acknowledge radar contact. Out. The scenery I'm using is all Vex, Global Vectors. We're currently at 5,000 feet. This will be our heading until we get to our waypoint. We'll probably take over at about 10 miles out. That's our descent to the airport. As you can see, as we're getting over the water, there's a few grey clouds there. Two rain clouds, not very heavy rain. Well, once again, when we get to the end of the video, we'll have a breakdown of our earnings on this flight, how much money we'll be able to put into the bank. Currently, only 2,800 feet above ground. As there's a nice hill there, what we at an elevation of 2,700 feet. That's the highest point on this journey. I will eventually start getting more sceneries and starting to save for a proper Cessna 172 on the A2A simulations. Uh, the default Cessna is fine for the time being, but you can't do all the proper checks on it, whereas with the A2A simulations. They have all the checklist the startup procedures that you have to go through. If anybody's watching on air to air simulations, I'd like to advertise your plane. I like this flyby view, but I've got to admit that my favourite view is just looking out from the from the cockpit. Not the three D cockpit. Just looking out from the cockpit where you can see the whole Spectrum. Well, that's the island we've just left. Just going to continue on this flight path about another seventy miles. Experiencing a little bit of turbulence.
Go through quite a bit of turbulence. Nothing too severe. What we'll do is we'll just continue on this heading. Uh, I'll join you when we're just about to start our descent into the airport. Just a quick reminder if you've not already done so. If you'd smack that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for any further content. Give me a big fat thumbs up. It helps my small channel get to where we want to be. That noise that hand off. Well, we're actually going through the rain clouds now. You can hear the rain falling on the windscreen. Right, I'm back again. I'm going to start my descent now to 1400 feet. Which is the height what we should be at waypoint LU uh, FN12. Fetch the speed down to about 1700 revs. We're not travelling too fast. We're descending at 600 feet a minute. I would have been given our instructions to land. Just before we hit that waypoint, I'll take over control of the aircraft. I'll fire it in manually. Not got visuals on it yet. Um, Somewhere to our right.
seven minutes away from the airport. Still raining. I'm just keeping an eye on my ADF indicator which is at the bottom near the transponder cord Seven miles away from the airport, I'm going to take control of the aircraft from here. Got to make a slight left turn. Up towards this point of the island. Still descending at around 500 feet of it. Our first notch of flaps on. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit more speed. That turning towards the airport now. I can see the aircraft in the distance. Airport. Oh, where before the glide slot. Noise the landing clearance. Four point four miles. Well, 
we're heading of 123 degrees. Line ourselves up with the runway. Coming in on the glide slope now. Got my second notch of flaps in. Bumped about by the weather a little bit. The 2.8 miles, three, mu three minutes away, I'm landing. Wait till I get over these trees before I put the last notch of flaps in. Bang on the glide slope. Seven hundred above. A bit too high, rather be too high than too low. One mile away, final notch of flaps in. down that glide slope back in Sensor. Speed right now. Next turn off. West taxi to Perkin. Knowledge taxi. 
Where are we going? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And break on. Engines off. Lights are off. Open the door. Let them out. At the end of the flight. Uh, we'll go and have a check on FS economy. How much money we made? Probably about one thousand nine hundred. It's one thousand nine hundred closer to buying another plane, and that plane will then be rented out. So we'll just go into FS economy. Into our banking. Two thousand three hundred and seventy-nine. Bank the two thousand. Just go and have a look at our log. Like I said, the income was 2,505. 10% uh, of that is the going booking fee, which is $250. We had $2,204.50. So that look a bit closer to Manchester, a little bit closer to buying another plane. So with that, I'll bid you farewell and happy fighting. Bye bye. <laughs>